when uh, COVID-19 uh, sort of really became uh, widespread around the world, we were looking at what our communities might need, really practical resources if they were looking to come home. So we worked with a number of our professional services partners to make sure that there was really high quality advice and information available on our site and through our social media channels there as well. And because we have over the years set in place um, various mechanisms for the receipt of assistance and to, to enable and process inputs and collaboration with the diaspora, um, we have seen um, quite a bit of assistance um, rendered and, and we believe that this will be strengthened in the coming months and in the coming years. We expect to receive over 2 million masks, for example. We've also uh, participated in COVID response. For example, we gave a million dollars for buying uh, personal protection uh, equipment for public health care uh, officials as the COVID started hitting. Now, we are seeing a huge increase and a high, up to high increase in diaspora and uh, in terms of expertise, contributing back to the expertise of the country, the health experts, the doctors, the specialists, the um, uh, infectious medicine doctors who came from abroad and are now working, are also working currently with us to make sure that the government is able to respond to the COVID-19 uh, in a very, very coordinated way. Thank you.